Welcome to iDaptive. In this video, we'll introduce the iDaptive directory. The iDaptive directory is the source of truth for the iDaptive Identity Services Platform Cloud Users accounts. The iDaptive service initially comes with one full system administrator account in the iDaptive directory to help you set up the Identity Service Platform. The initial admin login name is assigned based on the email domain used to request your Adaptive Identity Service Platform account. It takes just a few minutes to set up the portal, and then that email account receives a welcome email from CyberArk Adaptive. Notice that the email includes instructions with the initial tenant URL for your portal, the initial admin login name, and a temporary password to access the admin portal. The admin portal is where you will manage your identity service as well as complete any desired customization. For identity management best practice, every person with access to your platform should always log in with their own identity. We want to verify every user rather than share this initial admin account. You may want to do some customization before adding more iDaptive directory users. We'll show you how to customize your portal URL and login suffix in the Customizing Your Adaptive Tenant course. Once you've finished that customization, one of the first things you'll want to do is create one or more Adaptive Directory cloud users and place them in a role with full system admin permissions to prepare for using the Adaptive Connector. Most customers create at least one admin account that is not part of any federated or connected directory so that they can use it for the Adaptive Connector. The Adaptive Connector enables secure communication between your internal Active Directory or LDAP network and Adaptive Identity Services so that those users don't have to be copied into the cloud. We'll discuss the Adaptive Connector in more detail in another course. For now, let's go to Core Services Users in a demo admin portal that already includes users from a variety of sources. The source of truth for these users' identities may reside in other locations, like Active Directory, LDAP, or a federated cloud directory. But this user's table allows you to view and manage everyone with access to your portal from one place. Let's look at an example. We'll use the Sets panel to filter our users' table to only Active Directory users. Note that in order to see connected users, you will need to have installed the Adaptive Connector. And because we support just-in-time provisioning for added security, you'll only see external directory user's information appear on this table after they have logged into the Adaptive portal the first time. Remember that we don't copy users from Active Directory into the cloud. Now let's look at our Adaptive Directory users. These are our cloud user accounts whose source of truth resides only in the Adaptive Identity Platform. You might add contractors or other temporary workers to the Adaptive Directory if you don't want to include them in a connected directory. We'll show you how to add those cloud users individually or in bulk later in this course. The Adaptive Directory is the foundation for taking advantage of the full power of the Adaptive Identity Service Platform. 